I'm not going to switch on who was a mathematician and lived over 2,000 years ago. One day, he was looking at a triangle and noticed a pattern. He noticed that three sides, A, B and C, were connected. When he tested and studied this connection, he came up with a formula. This formula was A squared plus B squared equals C squared. This means that this length squared plus this length squared equals this length squared. An example of this is the classic 3, 4 and 5 triangle. You can see that 3 squared equals 9. Or this could also be written as 3 times 3, this also equals 9. 4 squared or 4 times 4 is 16. And 5 squared equals 25, the same as 5 times 5. If you add 3 squared and 4 squared, or 9 and 16, you get 25, which is also known as 5 squared. Finally, to find the length, you take the square root of 25, which is 5 centimetres. Remember to write the units. Before, we had a triangle with a base of 4 and a height of 3. Now we will double both these lengths and see what happens. Now we have constructed the triangle, we will see if Pythagoras actually works. So, work it out for about 6 squared plus 8 squared equals 100. To find the actual length of the hypotenuse, we will have to square root 100, which equals 10. We will now check to see the length 